Hi everybody, it's Claire with another project for ScrapFX Design Team. So today I'm working in my large dilutions journal on a pre-gessoed page and just adding some collage uh, tissue paper from ScrapFX called Grunge Letters Rice Paper. I'm using some gel medium to stick this in place. And then once that's dry, I'm using um, the mark making stamp set called Circles and some black archival ink. Next I am using some lemon um, which is Dina Wakeley media paint and then um, permanent red violet light in Amsterdam acrylics and turquoise green also from Amsterdam acrylic. I'm just blending these three colours onto the page. So up in that top right hand corner you can see that that has gone a bit lilac-y and funky. I wasn't too happy about that. I wanted the colours to be quite bright. So I thought, right, OK, I'll remove the colour through this stencil. So this is the number party stencil from ScrapFX. Um, and that was OK, but then most of the blue had disappeared, so I decided to put it back. Um, and then I'm using the Zinnia stencil from ScrapFX with, um, again, the permanent red violet light. Um, from Amsterdam Acrylic. So I'm just building up the layers um, really. I guess the first layer was the collage tissue paper, then the stamping, then the paint and then the stenciling um, and just building up the colour. So then I decided that I would add some white back in so using the same stencil so it's just repeating that image again. Um, I'm just adding in some white stenciling in some of the spaces and overlapping in some places too. I'm just using a makeup sponge to add the stenciling in. This is a design called Daisy Dot by Michelle Logan. She has three of them. Um, they're absolutely brilliant for adding an, um, an instant image to your page. Um, I, like, I love the colours that she's used and in fact I just love everything about them. So I just slipped a piece of paper underneath my page and I'm just adding in some black gesso on a border and then some lines going across the page and like you might be thinking oh my gosh all that background's disappeared but you can still see bits of it and I needed to calm the background down a little bit just so that the focal point wouldn't disappear and you can see now that it really stands out against that background and that also gives me some space for doing some journaling too or for writing a quote which is what I end up doing. So I'm just sticking Daisy in place using a glue stick and um, some of the circles that were on the page too, just adding those. And then using a white gel pen, I'm just doing scribbly lines just kind of around the border. And then on the black lines that I've painted, I'm going to write my quote or words. Or if you didn't want to do a quote, you could always just do your journaling on there. Um, so I wasn't too worried about, I didn't want the letters to be too um, big. Uh, so using this gel pen was perfect. It, um, just enough of an impact and just making sure it will all fit. There's nothing worse than getting to the end and realising you've got no space for the last word. Okay, so then I gave us some pink cheeks and I'm just using the white pen again and just kind of scribbled around the outline of her body and head and then these are the crosses and strokes stamps also from Scrap Effects and I'm just using the stays on in cactus green and just in, on some of the coloured background I'm just adding little bits of stamping and then again the same with the crosses I'm just masking off the areas where I don't want the stamping to go just adding a little bit more colour. So there you go. So there's the finished page using Daisy Dot. Um, lovely and colourful and bright. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.